What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Game Show. My name is AJ Gels. How y'all doing? We are back with Judgment. Kamarocho is playing host to Kansai based Yakuza. Show us his eyes. Up dead with their eyes gouged out. Show us his eyes. Lawyer turned detective Takayuki Yagami took on the case, proving the suspect's alibi. But he can't shake the feeling that the true culprit is out there. He gives this anonymous killer a name. Yagami calls him the Mole. See, I like this how these cha how the chapters are more like episodes than a TV show. I also I really love this like the smoke and the, the colors, everything. I, the, I I just love the tone that they're going for. It's like I said, it, it's Yakuza. I get it, it's a crime drama. It's it's kind of a. Reminds me of, Everybody even though, up in sorry. Each of them missing both eyes. Everyone a Kyori man. Kumi is the most recent. And the guy who killed them all was your mole, huh? Yep. Got Kumi hand-delivered to him by Hamura. In other words, Hamura was cooperating with the mole. He might have even been involved in all three cases. But Hamura kept that hidden and ended up getting off scot-free. In turn, making us look like fools. I'm not about to let him get away with this. Agreed. We gotta go all out if we wanna win. Too bad the pay sucks. Don't hate, man. I don't get it. Why would the captain wanna protect the mole anyways? He could have gotten life in the slammer if things went south. Hard to say with what we know now. First things first, we need to figure out who the mole is. That's why we're here, remember? The mole's first victim was found right in this very alley. Mm-hmm. Happened back in August. Kenkichi Mashiba. A Kyore guy, 27. Pretty small time. Even lower rank than Kume. Body got reported in the morning. Eyes gouged clean out of his skull. So the corpse was found pretty much the same way as Kume. Where exactly did they find him? What sort of position was he in? Not sure. Cops don't really publish those kinds of details. Well, guess we'll have to do one better then. Hold up a sec. The cops already did their whole song and dance searching for the mole. But they couldn't turn up a damn thing. Why do you think we can do any better? Shut up, you're making me doubt myself. Don't worry, we can do it. Doesn't matter whether or not we can do better. We have to. Hamra made us look like fools, and I'm not about to stand for that. Right. Anyways, the next victim was in, uh, October. Found in an alley off Tenkaichi Street. Shall we head over? I'm actually gonna head over alone, if you don't mind. Think you can get in touch with that informant in the meantime? Huh? Why I obey? If we're going to use Kaito's connections to a dirty cop, now's the time. Didn't you say something about him selling police info? If he's got info on the mole, we need it. Yep, I can ask. Thanks. Uh, okay, what the hell was I? What the hell was I getting at? Um, oh right, yeah, Yakuza. The the Yakuza games are, you know, crime dramas. I get it, you know they're Japanese crime dramas and all that, but even then, it, it still reminds me of kind of like American mob movies, you know, there's a, you know, a, there's that sense of family and honor and all that, you know, a, a lot of stuff, I mean, it's done differently, but it's a lot of the similar themes to, Amer like I said, more American mob movies. Um, well, this, again, it's more of a Japanese detective story, but even then, I'm seeing, it. this kind of reminds me of a modern day version of those old school, um, Ah, come on, uh, like old school like PI movies, you know, almost like the black and white era. You know, like when uh, Talk will do that uh, voiceover, you know, it, or that uh, previously on felt like you know like a TV show. It, it, I feel like they're doing a lot of similar things to what they did in Yakuza, but at the but at the same time. While doing a lot of the same things, I think they're they're framing it very differently. I, I, it's really cool to me. I know I sound like a gigantic weirdo, but I, 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 I love it, man. I can't, I can't get over it. Oh, 
All right, what's uh, so up with this dude? Hi, oh, kitty. Um, excuse me, my name is Nekomia, and you haven't happened to see any cute little kitties wandering around here, have you? You're looking for kitties out here? Yes, in fact, I'm the one who takes care of all the stray cats in Camarocho. However, there are a few I haven't seen lately. Oh, so he's the one who feeds them. Great, now they're gonna crap all over the place. Yeah, cats tend to do that. I hope they aren't too hungry. I really do worry about them. They're street cats. They'll be fine. You think so? How do you know they're not off dying somewhere? They're street cats. They've existed long before you came around. But it's not just me who's concerned. The rest of the feral feline... I'm sorry, I had to stop and prepare myself to actually say the sentence. The rest of the feral feline community needs to know they're safe. Hmm? I'm gonna go put my head in the oven. Uh, you mean there are more of you? <laughs> oh, yes. You see, I run a blog about all the stray cats I find. Uh, it's got cat pictures, cat icons, cat matchmaking, cat everything. But since I can't update my subscribers about the cats that went missing, a lot of them started to panic. I see. Well, it sounds like it's not a big deal. It is a big deal to me. That's why I've been searching high and low for the crazy little critters. Yet for some reason, they run away at full speed whenever they see me coming. It's like the more I offer my love, the faster they ran away. I have the same problem with women. Why? Why won't they... Why won't my feelings get through to them? Meow. Ah, oh, I want to pet him. Less cats means less cat poop. And I say good riddance. <laughs> I disagree with talk. Well, cats do tend to be pretty fickle, you know. Ah, so you know a thing or two about their behavior. Let me guess. You're also a fellow feline fanatic. Too much alliteration there. No, not quite. Either way, would you be willing to help me find my missing kitties on behalf of the cat-loving community? Seriously? Yeah, all you'd have to do is send me their pictures when you find them. Just let me know that they're still alive and kicking. Oh, and I'll reward you too, of course, in cash. Yeah, fine. Okay, you persuaded me. As long as it's just taking pictures. Oh, thank you so, so much. Oh yeah, we should exchange our contact too. I'm Yagami, by the way. So, uh, what kind of cat should I be looking for? Ah, right. Uh, would you mind starting off with the Calico? He's a bit of a scaredy cat, so I doubt he's gone too far. Calico. Got it. Man, what a nuisance. But I guess it couldn't hurt to keep an eye out. Great, then I'll be counting on you, Yagami-san. And this is why I didn't do a lot of the, um... What to call them? A, a, a lot of the little side stories in... Oh, cool, I can... Huh. Now I can fly my drone whenever I want now. I do that. Customize race record. Interesting. Okay, so that's not a side case. I just need to keep an eye out for cats, apparently. It's not weird at all. But yeah, like we say, it's why I didn't do a lot of the side stories when I was playing the Yakuza games with you guys. It's because, guess what? A lot of those side stories really end up being pretty damn stupid. You know, kind of like hunting down cats in a video game where I can't pet said cats. That, I think, is, I still think is the biggest tragedy of, tragedy of all. Tenkaichi Alley. This is where the mole's second victim was found. If I recall, the body was found in the garbage dump, so around here. What the? This is where they take out the garbage, right? The corpses must have been lying around here. This case happened months ago, though. Don't suppose there are any traces of the body left. I should take a closer look. I'm hearing, I'm hearing a cat. Maybe that's why I'm hearing cat sounds all the time. It's really weirding me out, man. 
Hmm. I see that that little sparkle. Hey. Huh? Whoa! This is. God, this is totally unrelated to the case. Yes, there are no more signs of the murder. Doesn't seem like there's anything left to find here. There's really not much I can do without police reports. Guess uh, I missed the rest of it. Ah, yeah, great. None like free runners. Also, nothing like a free runner who loves V for Vendetta too much. You know, I'm not gonna lie, not seen that movie all the way through. I just can't get through it. <laughs> Get back here! Hold it! Stop! Wait, wrong guy! Okay, let's go. See, last last video I brought I brought this up. It just that just that little bit of slapstick. It again, it reminds me of uh it, it, it just reminds me of those old school Jackie Chan kind of like um, cop movies. If anybody remembers what I'm talking about. Over here. Ah! Hold up. I've almost got you. Better move it. Ah! Hold up. Over here. Man, you dick. Surprised I didn't have to have a button prompt to climb up that thing. Over here. Is it gonna hurt? You're not getting any thanks for that. Here, you earned this back. Yeah, I own it. Look, it wasn't a perfect plan, but it worked out in the end, didn't it? So thanks. Is that what you call that? And I don't want your thanks, asshole. <laughs> okay. See ya. God, there's so many voices in this game that just sound super familiar to me. And that's a Camarocho burglary ring. Under the cops can't catch him.
We get cut off, but y'all good? You got in touch with Ayabe. He's scraping up what he can find on the mole thing. Just sit tight till we hear back, cool? Phew, I'm exhausted. Maybe we should go check in on Genda Sensei. Haven't heard from him in a while. We literally, did we just do a full circle? Holy shit, we did. Alright, well that's... One way to do that. Excuse me, I don't mean to scare you, but I need your help bad. What's the matter? Are you hurt? My stomach is killing me all of a sudden. Groan. Should I call an ambulance? No, don't do that. I don't have that kind of money. Please just go get Moroboshi Sensei. Is he some kind of doctor? Y yeah, uh, he should be underground in the sewers. You can get there through the manhole in Children's Park. All right, stay put for a minute. He'll understand if you tell him that uh, tell him Kondo is asking for him. Please hurry. Why would a doctor be hanging around in the sewers? Yes, that's not really what matters here. Just suddenly came falling down. Thank God no one was hurt. Yeah, I was almost hurt. A hole. God, it's like every restaurant. There's somebody who wants to talk to me and become my friend. Okay, that's that's um. Yeah, that's the the computer guy. Yeah, come on, I'll kick some ass. Really, guys? You all suck. You want something? Oh, no, nothing in particular. Then leave me the hell alone. Guess that attitude is how we ended up here. Excuse me. Are hey, you Moroboshi Sensei? I am, and who might you be? Doesn't ring a bell. So what do you want? I'm supposed to tell uh, to tell this guy again. Oh God, uh, your homeboy. The condor has left the nest. This is homeless guy goes by Kondo. Yeah, you know him. He was asking for your help just now. What Kondo-san was? Yeah, he said his stomach was killing him. Where is he? Public Park 3. Hey! Alright, I was curious to know who the doctor was that was going to be able to heal mortal injuries. And now we know. I still want I also want to know what that screw we found... Um, that screw we found in the alleyway is going to, going to be used for... Oh, uh, I made it. Thanks a million, Doc. You too, my guy. Did you eat something strange again? Uh, let me think. I did some dumpster diving at Pink Street yesterday. I knew I tasted something fishy. For crying out loud. <laughs> Oops, looks like Kondo-san's done it again. Yagami-san, wasn't it? Yes? Sorry for your trouble. This guy's always eating trash and messing up his stomach. Excuse me. Eh, no worries. But I've got to ask, are you really actually a doctor? Yeah, or at least I was. But that's all in the past. Moroboshi Sensei used to be a doctor at uh, this huge medical university. <laughs> but he's been down in the dumps since he lost his chance to become a professor. So he started uh, helping us out instead. 
You talk too much, Kondo san. Oopsie daisy. My bad. As for you, Yagami san, here's something for your trouble. I know it isn't much. You can now get treated by Moroboshi and buy medical kits from him as well. I appreciate it either way. Well then, I'll be off now. Thanks for helping out, Yagami san. I'll see you around. Like I said, now we know where we can go to uh, heal mortal wounds. I know we're pushing that uh, around the half hour mark. Or well, I guess not half hour. It's like 20 some minutes. But either way, um, I'm probably going to cut this one out at around uh, at around an hour. Unless I get you know like sucked into this video sometime. Uh, it's like 4 in the morning and I haven't been to sleep. Because, well, this game. So uh, I'm going <laughs> to... Well, not this game, but I, I also took some time to eat, make cookies. Those are pretty good. I don't even know what the hell I'm saying. I'm tired is the the main point I'm trying to make here. Boom! Superman! And stay down. We were going to learn where the hell Yagami learned all this kung fu. dragged in. Nah, because we had to find cats earlier. Keep you waiting or something? No. We were just talking about you, actually. Do you have a minute, Yagami-san? Of course. Especially if you've got a job for me. <laughs> You're always so eager to work. A great fighter, too. You ever take lessons? I did back when I was a kid, yeah. The rest has been more of a learn-by-doing thing. I like to think of it as Kamurocho style. Because you trained yourself on the streets? Man, what a life. I bet you've got some crazy stories. Um, Yagami-san. What's up? Actually, I do have some work for you. Yeah? What kind? Here, take a look at what I've got. Oh, cool! So we got like an actual like case list of... Okay, so we need higher reputation, main story progress. Neat! Alright, so we got a uh, client... Noriko Taguchi, 80,000 reward, 150 SP. My name is Noriko Taguchi. My husband has started going out frequently recently, and I want to know where he's going. It's hard to imagine that he's cheating on me, but could you investigate? Thank you. I'll send the details to your office. Put them up on your board or something. Sounds good. Thanks, Sari-san. So I'm guessing we come to her and talk about uh, talk about side cases, I suppose. Eh, I guess we gotta go talk to Genda then. You still sniffing around that Kume case? Oh yeah, never told Genda Sensei I'm still looking for the mole. Yeah. Still a dumb code problem, name. Isn't? Not a problem per se, but the case is closed. I can't keep paying you to investigate. Fine by me. It's a personal matter now. Even so, you're convinced Tamara's covering for the killer, right? You know he'll be none too happy if he finds out you're still on the case. He brought this on himself, if you ask me. Speaking of, have you seen him since the trial? No, but he and Shintani keep in touch. They're practically drinking buddies these days. Really? Come on in, Hattori-san. Small, but it's home. Oh, goody. Oh, I know all about this place. Right, Yagami-san? Oh, sorry. I forgot. Shintani had an interview today. Shintani and Hattori, two of my favorite people in the world. Just pretend Yagami isn't here, yeah? Wouldn't want your readers thinking he had a hand in getting Hamura's acquittal. No, oh, don't worry about that, Shintani Sensei. That courtroom was yours, and yours alone. I should go. Looks like I'm the third wheel here. Without a photo, Yagami-san? For as much as you did on the case? 
Let me just get one of you in Shintani Sensei, huh? Tea, sir? What a treat. That would be great, Shirosaki Sensei. So we're going to work on this uh, infidelity case or whatever. What was he doing there? Anyway, I need to meet with that client back to the old office. Awesome. I, I was actually, I really, really wanted to start doing just some some side cases or just, you know, just my, 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 my just, words are hard. I really wanted to start playing on the, you know, let have the game like kind of let me loose and just kind of start investigating things on my own. Really, guys? I like how Yagami talks some trash after it beats him up. So I love bumping into people in this game. Which is, I, I love listening. Notice <laughs> you run, you know, you run into some restaurant, you knock over all the chairs, you're bumping into everybody. And yeah, and the restaurant still serves you. I get it, it's a video game and everything, but still, it just makes me laugh. Excuse me. Oh, hello. Are you here about the job, ma'am? Yes, I'm Noriko Ta uh, Goddamn Taguchi. There we go. You came highly recommended by Genda Sensei. I'm Yagami. Sorry to keep you waiting here. Here, I'll get the door. So yeah, I'm a private investigator. You wanted me to investigate if your husband is cheating on you or not, correct? Yes, I'm afraid that's right. I can't shake the feeling that he might be. But I need someone to find out for sure. Very well. Can you tell me the whole story? Yes. Y you see, my husband and I own a cafe on Tahi Boulevard called Heavy Coffee. We've managed it together ever since it opened, in fact. My husband's a good man, but he always, you know, but he's always kept to himself. We've been married 40 years, and I can hardly remember any real fights, let alone infidelity. Sounds like you two have a great marriage. I'd usually agree, but lately he's been leaving the cafe early. I mean, there have always been slow days where he would leave to hit the pachinko slots or go see a movie. But lately this has become an almost everyday occurrence. Well, it leads you to believe he's cheating on you. Perhaps he simply found a new hobby, for instance. That's fairly common at your age, isn't it? Yes, I thought that might be the case at first, too. But one day I stopped in at a pachinko parlor he said he'd be at and I didn't see him anywhere and you're sure you were at the right place the city has quite a few pachinko parlors if it had only been once I might not be so sure but I assure you I've been thorough I've checked in several times now and I've never found him there once I see it sounds like you've done your homework then sorry for giving you the sorry for giving you the third degree there Yagami-san I'd like you to investigate where my husband goes when he leaves the shop. And if he is cheating, can you tell me who he's meeting? You really want the gory details? Yes, I want to know what kind of woman he would cheat on me with. I can do that, but I have to say, sometimes you're better off not knowing. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. I put 80,000 yen on my request. Is that sufficient? Of course. I'll take the case. Thank you. Like I said, he... Uh, leaves the cafe early almost every day now. He even told me that he's been waiting to see a new movie that just came out. Alright, that should make it simple enough to tail him when he leaves. Please do. The lady shop's called Heavy Coffee and it's on Taihei Boulevard. Guess I'll check it out. Why are you making such a scary face, Yagami? Come on, smile. God damn, I got something in my eye. 
All right, all right, I got it out. It's very uncomfortable. Okay, it's up around the corner. Sorry, I was thinking I was thinking about making a cut, and then I'm like, ah, eh, it's a lot closer than I thought. What a waste. Awesome. Damn, I still want to know what that noise is. This is Heavy Coffee. It's a weird name if you ask me, but... Eh, whatever. Hmm. That must be my closet's husband. Let's see where he goes. God, I love it when the studio makes its whole things get overly intense. Yeah, because it's not weird that some guy just ducks down behind that car. now and they'll cover. Yeah, you know, like I was saying, I, I love how the studio does so many things. It makes them so intense. Um, Yaxa was the same way, you know, like when you're playing, um, like when I play Mahjong, you know, the, there's a, you know, uh, Kiryu's, you know, was uh, surrounding his aura. Well, I mean, same thing with this one, you know, when you see me, uh, if you've seen me draw sumo, you know, he lifts the tile up high up in the air, you know, it's, a, it's always just lar large, intense movements, you know, it, it's, it's, it's just been a staple of the series. Everything's got to be just super, it, it, everything's got to be dialed up to a thousand just for, you know. Cause that's just what you do. I love it. Makes me smile. Ooh, sorry. God damn. I'm looking outside. It's almost daytime. <laughs> go try and get to the sign it doesn't look like he's gonna turn around on me all right Yeah, so what don't you think it would be more suspicious to see the same guy keep ducking behind cars? I feel like that lady is important. Yeah, he's gonna meet with her. She stands out way too much. She's static. Yeah. Colorful, uh colorful colorful like uh, jacket and whatnot. Yeah, you you could you could tell that she was uh who he was gonna meet. Woman, not looking positive. 
She's caked in makeup, though. Must be really trying to hide her age. The red brick again? Maybe? That works. They're moving. The red brick, huh? That's gotta be the red brick hotel. Alright, I'm gonna need a photo as proof. Where's the best spot to catch them entering the hotel? Here. Or here. No, maybe here. I should follow them and then get into position. That'll, uh, into a position that'll have, that'll have me a clean shot. Words are hard. Uh, in photo missions, your goal is to investigate certain incidents and capture the decisive moment on camera. Take a picture that ticks off all the checkboxes on the right side of the screen. Uh, be careful if you take a picture without satisfying all the conditions. It will result in the game over. Therefore, check your surroundings and look for the best possible camera angle that will allow you to take a picture that satisfies all the criteria. Note that you won't be able to take a picture until you fulfill at least one condition. Uh, get the best shot to gain a bonus. On top of taking off all the checkboxes, if you capture a photo that perfectly meets the client's demands, you will gain some SP as a bonus. Consider the contents carefully and capture the perfect image. So we're going to be looking for the hotel sign, the husband, a home wrecker. That should be good enough. The husband's face isn't in focus, but it is clearly solid evidence. Now to figure out uh, who he's seeing, guess I'll wait till they come out of the hotel. Oh, okay. When it when it did that weird zoom in, that's when I should have taken the shot. Oh well. Finally. Not bad for your age, you two. Looks like they're splitting up here. Time to follow the woman. Again, getting super intense. Yagami, don't you think you're going to scare people following somebody in your, your, uh, your edgy leather jacket and your edgy haircut and all the chains and buckles and whatnot? And then they look down and see your super tight jeans and, you know, it gets weird. Yeah, I, I, I keep saying it. I will not let the fat, I will not let his jeans go. They annoy the hell out of me. Now my leg's really warm because I have a cat sitting on it. It's fine. He's welcome. He's welcome there. Trying to pet him. But he's too far away. Eh, my stubby arm won't reach him. Oh, now he's biting me. Alright, now we're gonna have problems, cat. Buddy, I swear to God, you keep doing this, we're gonna have to fight. I love this cat, man, but he's gonna end up kicked in the face soon. I'm kidding. I wouldn't kick my cat in the face. The hell? Why 
Where are you going, lady? This might sound like a weird question. Have any of you played a game in which tailing somebody like this is actually really exciting and really fun to do? Because I do not think... I'm trying to find one game that I can remember that I'm that I really loved a tailing mechanic. I mean, it always feels like I'm doing the same, like, two moves. Hiding behind a wall, waiting for them to move. Oh, they turned around randomly because, they, ooh, I feel like somebody's watching me, so I'm going to turn around and look for somebody that I think's following me. I, I... I don't know. I just... It never feels natural to me. Like, when I'm walking down the street, I like... Look, I get it. Like, there. Like, she could have seen, you know, keep seeing me ducking behind cars or whatever. Fine. I get that she'd be getting a little more agitated, a little more, like, nervous. But before she even noticed me at all, why is she turning around looking like, oh my gosh, somebody's looking at me. You're on a public street. Kind of, that's kind of part of being on a public street. You know, I mean, the Assassin's Creed games I thought were the, were the same way. Uh, L.A. Noir had a mechanic very similar to this. A lot of games have done stuff like this. I just, I, I always think tailing ends up being flat. It just, uh, it just never feels right, in my opinion. Wait, this is... We're back at heavy coffee. What the hell? Could it be? Guess it doesn't matter. The picture should be enough for the client. Hello, Noriko-san? Yagami-san, yeah, have you found anything out? Yeah, I'd like to go over my findings. Would you mind stopping by the office? Of course, I'll be right there. See you soon, then. Alright, I'll meet her back at the office. Yeah, just just teleport me there. Don't make me go on my own. I'm much too lazy for that. Based on this evidence, I think it's safe to say with almost full certainty that your husband is cheating. I'm sorry. I see. I'm sorry, was there more, Yagami-san? Yes. Regarding the woman your husband was seeing, does she look familiar? That That's... Am I correct in assuming she's the owner of Kashozoko, the bar above Heavy Coffee? Yes, you're absolutely right. We've met a few times, actually. I... I had no idea he was seeing someone so close. I'm a fool that I'm not seeing it earlier. Don't blame yourself. In a trusting relationship, you aren't really looking for those kinds of signs. Like I said, sometimes these kinds of details are best left undiscovered. But your husband is seeing your neighbor. That much is true. And now the truth is a weapon in your hand. Just be careful about how you wield it, okay? Thank you, Yagami-san. I'm actually relieved to know it. Know about it. I think I'll file for a divorce. I see. I'm glad, though. I'm glad- Oh, shit. Thank you for being so thorough. Just doing my job. If you need anything else, don't hesitate to get in touch. <laughs> no, thank you. I don't uh, need to feel what I'm feeling now ever again. This one ended up right where it started. Sometimes it really is darkest under the lamppost. You can now accept requests from Yagami, uh, from Yagami Detective Agency and Genda Law Office. Check out the bull bulletin board in Yagami's office. Okay. Side cases, the detective's main business. The various requests that Yagami handles are referred to as side cases. Side cases can be accepted at the Yagami Detective Agency bartender and the Genda Law Office. Yagami Detective Agency, go up to the bulletin board. Bartender, talk to Joe Masuda. Genda Law Office, talk to Sayori um, 
or Sauri. I'm going. I'm going Sayori because so that's how I usually have seen that name pronounced. But I could be incorrect. Uh, Shirasaki. Additionally, there will be many times when you encounter someone on the street, and the side case will open up from there. Once you complete a side case, you will obtain money, SP, and items. The amount of side cases Yagami can tackle increases as his reputation grows. You can gra- you can raise Yagami's reputation by deepening his friendship with the locals. Note that some clients will only show up because your friend. Uh, Note that some clients will only show up to become your friend after you solve the request. There we go. 80,000 yen. Not bad. You can now play pinball in your office. So, and heard back from Kaito. Fun never stops. Some DLC items um, are coming your way. Stay tuned for more details. I, I keep, every time I open up the phone, I keep getting, look like, DC, DLC available. But, uh, I don't, uh, yeah, I don't know. How are the jobs looking? Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. More than there was at the, uh, at the law office. Yosuke Septomi. Not even the police can get this guy. So I'm asking you. He stole my sister's panties and... <laughs> <laughs> that he has her in his sights. I'm worried about what'll happen next. I'll wait at M Side Cafe with my sister. I'm the pretty boy with black short hair. Lol, my sister looks like me, but with longer hair. <laughs> All right, both are with fifty thousand. Um, where'd my jacket go? All right. Well, I'm gonna guess these get a little more intense as we go, but um, you know what? I think I'm actually gonna close after you know, kind of get first getting our first look at our side cases. See, I'm not sure if they're all gonna be like completed that fast. I have a feeling they're kind of kind of like ramp up. You know, we're gonna get a lot of like infidelity cases and shit like that to start off with, and they're all gonna be kind of goofy or whatever like that with the panties. But honestly, I think it's because Ryu Gagatoku kind of have a they have a sense of humor, and I like that about them. Well, like I said, like I said earlier, man, I, I gotta I gotta keep this one short because I'm about to I'm about to pass out here in my uh, what was I saying? Uh, I'm I'm about to pass out here in my uh, here in my my little office. So I'm gonna play pinball just because I'm curious and I will forget. I'm, I usually don't like to play pinball games. Sure. Oops. Alright guys, you get to watch me really suck at pinball. Well, there we go. There we go. Now you're seeing why I, uh, why I don't play pinball, because I really suck at it. God damn. I don't even really know what I'm doing anymore. I'm just kind of... Yeah, I don't think there was much I could have done. I could have bumped the table, I suppose. Oh, I got a warning again. Jesus Christ. Thank you, game, for putting me out of my misery there. All right, let's, uh, we're getting out of there. <laughs> yes, I am trash at pinball. Uh, all right, guys, like I said, I, I got to close out before I pass out. Thanks for watching. Facebook, Twitter, the website, Minds.com. Links that stuff is down, all down in the description below. Please remember to like, comment, not already. Please subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more next time. But until then, my name's AJ Gills, the Something Game Channel. I'm out.